Okay. Catch you tomorrow. Uh -huh. I won't be around. You know, you're absolutely, you know what? One thing about the Liz Will, I'm telling you something about Liz right now. One thing about Liz is that no matter what kind of mood she's in, no matter how she looks, she may have been up 24 hours, that she is still beautiful inside and out. And so even she's photogenic and all that. And so she should just be doing the news or something. You know, Connie Chung, eat your heart out. Here comes Liz Will. All right, the yeah. one and only. Yeah. 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 Now, one thing I remember about Liz, one thing I remember about Liz is Liz always have some kind of stuff. I cannot get my foot out the mud. <laughs> okay, here's Antoine. Antoine gonna do a little thing. What am I singing? He gonna make me sing something. I don't even remember. Okay. The greatest love? Well, I don't remember how to play it. I don't. You gotta sing while you play. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how it used to be. Everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. Never found anyone, never near my knees. See, I ain't did this in one. A lonely place to be. So I've learned, so I've learned to depend on me. I just um, it's not that much really history that I know. It's just that uh, Mr. Williams, he married my sister. Mr. Williams married your uh, sister? Yeah, Buster William married to my sister, okay. Emma Jeans. Okay. Yeah, and this has been a few years ago. Okay. And I've had a chance to go down and uh, visit their home quite often, and also I visit a couple of his sisters. Okay. And I know his daughters, and they are very fine people. How was your trip here? Fantastic. Fantastic yeah, trip. Going a lot of fun this weekend. A lot of fun this weekend. Good. We're looking forward to it. Good. Sure, Good. right. Uh, we're looking to have a ball, really. Good. What's your address? Where do you live? I'm at East Atlanta, 463 Little Avenue, Southeast Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Zip code? 30316. 30316. You got that on camera, right? Good deal. Okay. All right. well, we're looking forward to hear from you. Good. Yeah. Good. Take care. All right. Okay. Y'all don't have to stop. Mm -hmm. Easy. 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 On this very wonderful and momentous occasion, we would like to present to Jeff Statham, the woman of the hour, this very beautiful person right here, with all this long history in the, in the, in the family, with something that was made just for her from Horton and Horton Productions, and it is a beautiful calendar, and it says, To Granny with Much Love, Cheryl Frierson Horton, Video Production and More. And it has the phone number down there also. Have, you have to... Mm-hmm, Cheryl made that for you. Yeah, I woke up. Yeah. Yeah, look. Look at me. The calendar. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's looking nice. Well, what is that on there? That's you. Yeah, this is glass. this is granny, you got your glasses on. Oh, oh, but that's, that's that, Uh-huh. Yeah. You, that's Maxine. No, that's no, Darlene. That's Darlene, here's Maxine. Uh -huh. I T and that's me, and then that's uh oh, okay. Who is this Donnie? That's Antoine. That's Chubby, and that's Willie. Mm. Oh, I really enjoyed it. My name is Prunella Barrow, and I'm from Vista, Georgia, 
and I'm the daughter, the granddaughter of Bill Williams. And I've enjoyed everything. I enjoyed the picnic. I just enjoyed everything. We went over into Canada, and it was beautiful. And I really. Oh Lord. Okay. Okay. My name is uh, Aaron Spellers. I'm from uh, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. I'm in the William family to my grandmother, which her name was Lucy um, William. That was my grandmother. My mother was Willie Bell Du William. That was, her. that was my mother. I enjoyed myself being here in Detroit. Went to a lot of places. Um, seen a lot of relatives this time that I hadn't met before. I was very glad to meet them. And um, hope to come back again. Um, and hope to see each and every one next family reunion. Thank you. Elder, meet the young and the old and the elder and the blessed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia, the daughter of Reverend John Williams and Della Williams. I've enjoyed my stay in Detroit. Hope to be coming again in the near future. Thank you. Bye. Since on Friday evening, and I have really enjoyed this family reunion. And I sure can hope everything, everybody's blessed. Bless you too. Thank you. And um, to what love is, we really believe that we wanted him to be with us in Detroit. We wanted another brother with us. We had so much fun with him there in Detroit. We too young to understand. But it is something to think about. And I, I can laugh at it now, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And God. No. Um, just kind of pray with me for a little bit. I um, was thinking for a while about what can I say to welcome the family here. And as I thought about that, I thought about a lot of really poetic things to say, and I thought about just a lot of really bright things or clever things or nice ideas that would impress people. And I thought about that, and the harder I thought about something to impress everybody, the more difficult it became to think of something. And so I began to just pray, and I said, God, now what can I say to the people that would bless them? And when I thought about that, I began to think about the entire weekend. And I thought about what happened Friday night when I got in town. And when I got in town Friday, we got to the church, and there were people at the church that had, you know, people that chartered a bus and have come a long distance from Florida and from Georgia. Some people over the weekend drove their cars. Some people came by plane. But however way or means of transportation people made to get here, people got here. And to this day, as of right now, I haven't heard of anyone who's had an accident. Now, one time have we had to call 911. So my point is that God has blessed us all the way from, from point that we start planning this up until this point. And so when I begin to think about all that God has done to bring us together, then I thought for a moment, I just need to stop for a moment and just thank God midstream and say, God, thank you for bringing us together for another family reunion. Right. And then as I begin to think about that, as I begin to think about the fact that God has brought us together and that God has kept us all this time, I start thinking about, now God, how can we welcome the people? And the, the, the biggest example of a welcome that I could think about was when Jesus went to the cross and he stretched one hand to the east and the other hand to the west and he bowed again to the south and he, and he just died for us. And when he did that, he welcomed everybody into the family of God. And so when God opened up his arms and welcomed everybody else into his family, surely we can say from Detroit, Michigan, that we welcome everybody who's come from a great distance to the city of Detroit. And so not only do we welcome you to the city of Detroit, but we also welcome you to the family of God. And even as I was sitting down over here, I thought about how even through the years, through the years, our family has always focused in on God. 
We've always been ministers and pastors and preachers and all that. We've always been singers. We've always had that if we've not strayed away from God. And God has blessed us to have a remnant of people who will stand up and say that I love God and I'm part of his family. So I thank God for that. And so even with all that in mind, we welcome you all to the city of Detroit. And uh, we pray that God will continue to bless us even throughout this night. That God will bless us tomorrow. And that even when we leave to go on your separate way, when I go back to Ohio, when you all go back to Florida, when you go to Atlanta, wherever you may go, that God will, will bless you and keep you even there, all right? God bless you, and I think I'm going to turn it back over to our uh, mistress of ceremony. I think I've said enough. But anyway, God bless you. Like that. Amen. Now, any other family would like to say something. I ain't 